Hello! Recently, I got my hands on two MDF kits from a company called Uncertain Scenery. I bought these myself and this video isn't sponsored. In this video, I'll be showing off the sensor dish. The kit costs £30. I'll be using mine for Warhammer 40,000 scenery, but it can work with any 28mm scale models. The kit comes in these MDF sheets. There's a strong barbecue type smell that comes from the wood being laser cut, but that goes away with time and paint. You can just pop out the pieces and put them together. It also comes with an instruction booklet for how to put it together. A bit of PVA glue is all that's needed to assemble it. There's a lot of delicate spindly bits in this kit which could easily be snapped if you use too much pressure. So take your time and use a hobby knife to help cut out some of the bits if they don't want to pop out of their sprues. The instructions tell you to glue all of the panels together, but I found this picture online where someone left a couple of the panels off, which makes it look damaged. This is really fitting for the realm of 40k, so I wanted to do the same. You can literally just leave some of the panels off while building it, and you can also go a step further by cutting and gluing some of the spare bits of wood sprue to look like extra beams going across the structure. When the model was dry, I found that you can just slot the other panels into their respective holes and they'll sit snugly. And you can take them out again whenever you want. So now I have a choice as to whether I want to keep it looking fully assembled or worn and damaged with missing panels. Let's have a look at the scale of this thing. Here's a Space Marine for scale, and a Dreadnought, and an Imperial Knight. What I love about this model is that you can move it. It's built in a way where the dish spins around. You can also tilt the dish up and down, because it slots into grooves at various angles. There's a cool little extra detail included with this kit as well, which is that you can take off the dish and replace it with a hatch that comes with the set. This turns it into a bunker, so if you can't fit a whole satellite dish onto one of your games, you can still use the kit for something smaller. The size of the dish is about 20 centimeters, or about 7.5 inches, and the height is around 22 centimeters, or roughly 8.5 inches, depending on how you angle the dish. Here's what it looks like on a 6x4 gaming mat. The tape measures show the size of the more modern 44 by 60 inch board that Games Workshop recommend for games of Warhammer 40k. Some MDF kits end up looking quite flat, but there's so much detail and interesting angles in this one, and I had a lot of fun putting it together. Some point soon I'll paint this up, and when I do, I'll link the video at the top, and also pop the link in the description so you can see what it looks like with a bit of paint. Thanks very much for watching, and take care.